dead. Is a human baby a purely amoral creature? Just a blank slate who learns from society to respond with compassion to suffering and with outrage to unfairness and injustice? Or is it possible that a baby understands right from wrong at the very start of his or her life? There's a growing body of scientific evidence to support the idea that perhaps some sense of good and evil is bred in the bone. I am Paul Bloom, a psychology professor at Yale University, and I'm part of a team exploring the moral life of babies. We're here at Yale University's Infant Cognition Center. Um, this center researches what infants know about their physical worlds and their social worlds and has been doing so for about the last 10 years. So my work here as a graduate student is what infants understand about people as good people and bad people. Whether a young infant, before they're being taught about these kinds of concepts, um, could make distinctions like these. All right, so we'll have you sit right here with her and then okay. just scoot her all the way up to the front of the table there. We run puppet shows in the lab. I need to do something fun now, okay? They are um, either hand puppets or little wooden cool. shapes in which one character plays the role of the good guy and another character plays the role of the bad guy. Up goes the curtain. One puppet tries but fails to get to the top of the hill, sort of struggling and, and falling back down. On alternating trials, we show infants one character who comes and bumps the climbing character up the hill. And down goes the curtain. If you're ready, up goes the curtain. On another trial, we have a character who comes and bumps the character down the hill. Down goes the curtain. And up goes the curtain. An infant see um, that interaction sort of over and over again between six and 14 times. After they're sort of finished looking at it, when they're nice and bored, we simply ask them to choose between the two characters. All right, great. So we are all done with that part. We're just gonna have her choose between the puppets now. That one. All right, good job. That was the helpful guy, wasn't it? Astonishingly, really, we are finding that um, upwards of 80% of babies are choosing the character who was helpful um, over the character who was unhelpful. Okay, All right, gorgeous, can we have that ducky? Thank you. And up goes the In another of our tests is a character who um, has a ball and mm. he plays with his ball sort of happily and then he mm -hmm. drops his ball to one side of the stage or another. Um, at the back of the stage there are two characters, one of whom runs up when the ball goes over near him, grabs the ball and gives the ball back to the character and who dropped it. On the other hand, um, the character on the other side of the stage, when he runs up, he grabs the ball and runs off stage with it. So we are just going to have her choose between the puppets now. Hey, which one do you like? Oh. That guy? Oh. Okay. All right, that was the nice guy. I heard about the concept and I thought it was a really neat idea. We just like to participate in baby science. The girls really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. To improve our chances of becoming better parents. In another scenario, we show infants a character who tries but fails to open a box. Okay, gorgeous one. Up goes the curtain. Um, one character comes and helps him open the box after he struggles. And down goes the curtain. Up goes the curtain. Another character comes and jumps down on top of the box, preventing him from doing so. Okay, great. Now we're just going to have her choose between the puppets. Which one do you like? That one? <laughs> <clears throat> Very so parents nice. often ask us what it might mean that their baby seems to tell the difference between a nice guy and a mean guy. Um, that's the only question I would really have is, you know, how did my baby do? And one of the things I think it means is that we spend a lot of time worrying about teaching children the difference between um, good guys and bad guys in the world, good things and bad things. But that in fact these things might be something that infants just that come one? to the world with. Fifty years ago we didn't understand a lot of what we understand now, what we take for granted. Uh-huh. <laughs>